assistance to James McGrath. I can see uh, Brian Gavin just having a word with the match referee. And all of this before the action gets underway. Kilkenny leaving just two men in the inside forward line as the uh, ball is thrown in and the match gets underway. And straight away it is the Cats under a bit of pressure here. Paul Murphy went racing out for that one. Comes instead to Richie Hogan, who's had a marvellous season, to his partner, Connor Fogarty. Playing it low across here towards TJ Reid. It's been so influential in, in the uh, matches that Kilkenny have played so far. Dropping that one in, but putting it to the left. Michael Fenley at right half forward, Colin Fenley at centre forward, and Parry Walsh at left half forward with TJ Reid switching in the corner, being picked up by Seamus Hickey. So you can see Kilkenny going for that pace in the half forward line to take on the perceived lack of pace in the Limerick half back line. That's taken here by Joey Holden. First championship season for him. Drops into the hands here of Gavin O'Mahony. Dropped down, able to go after it himself, then leaves it behind, stolen from him. In once again comes Conor Fogarty, his second possession in this match. Going after him is Wayne McNamara. Playing it across here, dangerously, TJ Reid able to scoop it back outside here to the waiting Forrick Walsh. And Forrick Walsh keeping it alive in here. And then it's lost by Owen Larkin. Taken away out of danger here by Paul Brown, his first touch. Missed there by David Breen. And that enabled TJ Reid once again to get onto it. Just to try and control the tempo here in the early exchanges. Connor Fogarty waiting for somebody to take responsibility to have a go. It's Fogarty who does so. And that ball has gone wide as well. So yeah. a couple of wides. You can see there the conditions already. Uh, Kilkenny trying to play a few short passes around there, but ball bouncing off the hurdles. You saw David Breen the same there, first touch, and it's going to be very difficult. It's spilling rain out there, and it's tough conditions, especially it was dry a few minutes ago when they were warming up, so they got no chance to get used to the conditions. Nicky Quaid into the half-forward line here, prodded back into midfield. Forward, and that looks accurate, and that one's got over the bar. Beautifully done by Declan Hannan. First point of the match. Yeah, and that's what Limerick are looking for. Nice little flick out there by Donald O'Grady onto Hannon, and much more involved in the game I felt against Wexford at centre forward. That's a great start for him, a great score. It'll be interesting, Hannon against Brian Hogan. Interesting duel, that particular one, as that ball runs through, and it's uh, Wayne McNamara who's able to go back. Blocked down well here by Porrick Welch. He's made a uh, well as well, and it's uh, very interesting with the matchups to see how they will go. Michael Fennelly trying to dig that one out there, waits for it, comes out instead here towards Richie Hogan. Low ball inside, intelligently in there towards TJ Reid. My goodness, he's been buzzing around in the opening four or five minutes of this match, or three minutes rather, into the fourth now as it comes back out to Porrick Welch. And Porrick Welch leaves this one short. Nicky Quaid once again, that's three attacks now by Kilkenny. Hasn't produced anything so far. Nicky Quaid from Effin. Huge one down. Lost there by Paul Murphy in the air. Goes back in again to try and make it his. Up against Shane Dowling in that green helmet. In there too, Brian Hogan for Kilkenny trying to get to it. Instead, it's Donald O'Grady coming across here. And that final effort has gone in and got over the bar. A second score, and Donald O'Grady the one who gets it. So two in the half forward line have now scored from open play. Yeah, and that's what Donald O'Grady brings to this team. He's a ferocious competitor, won a great ball there, and... Uh, over the bar and that's you know it's a great start by Limerick uh, Kilkenny playing with two men inside in the full forward line and Limerick coping well so far and two attacks and two scores and they'll be delighted with that start David Herity has won back the goalkeeping spot fucking it out to right half forward over there brilliantly taking it is Michael Fennelly slipping the hand pass in his side here to its brother and Colin Fennelly leaves it off and that one's gone over the bar that's more like it by Kilkenny, that's the point they needed just to settle them down. Yeah, great catch by Michael Fenley, laid it off to his brother Colin, and, uh, you know, they needed that, as you say, five, five minutes in, but this is a fantastic catch here, and he's a big man, and he's, he's positioned out in the wing, I know, to take on that Limerick half battle. It's a great shot in Slovo there, but you see the rain, how difficult it is for the players, wretched conditions, Nicky Quaid again. This time targeting David Breen, usually so good in the air. Over there to Mark and Killian Brennan. That comes out, Jackie Tyrrell hitting it, and went to get to the 2014 All-Ireland Final. Jackie Tyrrell had a spell himself at number six. I think the overall chemistry of the team is better when he's back there at corner, back his best position. 
there's Owen Larkin having a look at the referee. He was fouled, and it's going to be a uh, free in. First, TJ Reid standing over this, giving himself a moment just to visualise the shot before he lifts it up to strike, and then almost passes it over the bar. Beautiful style, lovely accuracy, and that uh, means the teams are level. Two points apiece. Early stages in the game. Good response by Kilkenny with those last two attacks. Yeah, I'm watching the puck out here, John. I think this breeze, you know, what's out there is swirling, but I think it's favour and Limerick if you look, Nicky Quick getting great length in those puck outs. It's changed in that case because it was the other way around earlier on in the day. Again, Limerick tried to advance here. David Breen, Paul Brown denied. Repulse comes back out to Declan Hallam, well blocked down. They go after it again in there. Eventually, hand passed out of danger in as far as Owen Larkin. Released as far as Colin Fennelly and holds it to himself, calmly done so, diagonally across to his uh, older brother Michael, and Michael from 65 metres out, hits it, but hits it inaccurately. Kenny remains at two points apiece. Nicky Quaid has been the busier of the two goalkeepers. Scoring opportunities, six created so far, as you can see by Kilkenny. David Bree now. As a player just ahead of him there, it was uh, James Ryan went for it himself, and why not with that kind of accuracy? Wonderful point by David Breen. Well, he got uh, a goal against Kilkenny in the 2012 meeting of these teams. Well, that's a brilliant scorer, Ger, and uh, a most underrated player, in my opinion. I think he's a fantastic player for Limerick, doesn't get the credit he deserves, but that's a brilliant score, and that's all three half hours now have scored already, and that's a great start for that line. And all of those scores coming from open play. Short puck out as far as Jackie Tyrrell. So incrementally worked up, it doesn't travel as much as you'd expect. Back in here towards Owen Larkin once again, spills back out as far as Colin Fennelly. Fennelly takes off, 30 metres out, Michael Fennelly, his brother there, 20 metres out, hits it into the ground rather awkwardly, and really mishit it in the end, and it was a golden chance, and it was fluffed by Michael Fennelly. It was great play here by Colin, little flick to his brother going through, and I think he should have went on to TJ Reid here, he's inside on his own, nice hook there as well, uh, Hurl comes in there. Puck out again down towards David Breen, but won by Killian Buckley. He knows he'll have his hands full with those puck outs from Limerick this afternoon. Carried on here well. Brian Hogg up some shoulder, did really well. Outside the 45 metre line, straight at the goalkeeper. Dodges away from would be challenges, and Nicky Quaid manages to get it out here as far as Richie McCarthy. Worked up as far as Gavin Amahani, and Amahani lets it in low. Skids in there, inside towards Shane Dowling. Goes after it himself, so too went Paul Murphy. Back in came Richie Hogan, Hogan picks it up, back there, outside his own 20-metre line. Flicked across towards Jackie Tyrrell, put under pressure immediately. Donald O'Grady was coming in there. Kilkenny regroup, plenty of cats' bodies back there, and eventually Paul Murphy, under pressure, tripped. Well, he was, but the referee didn't give him a free. And it's going to be a line ball instead. With great intensity on both teams, there's some of the tackling is absolutely unbelievable, but I think there was a couple of fouls in there, certainly. You know, maybe he fell over and you know, the referees be consistent. He's trying to let it flow because of the conditions. It's slippy out there and uh, great work rate by the Limerick forwards there. Well, Kevin Down walks away from it. He seemed to make contact with Paul Murphy's leg, whether it was intentional or not is another matter. And it's going to be Declan Hannon who will take this. Inside towards James Ryan. Can he be the major influence that Limerick would hope he will be? He's lost his hurley. Played football as well with the county. He couldn't do anything that time. And it's away by JJ Delaney. Back down there towards TJ Reid. He's on the ground. Referee again allows play to continue. Wayne McNamara bangs it in from a huge distance out. Taken by goalkeeper David Herity. Gets away there from Graham Mulcahy. He was coming in quickly. But hits it away poorly to a number of Limerick players. The one who collects it is Paulie O'Brien. Back in once again, Jackie Turrell lets it run on, Paul Murphy sweeps across, comes over here, hooped well there by Shane Dowling, Dowling doesn't give up on this one, busy as ever, picks it up here, hooped well that time by Murphy and the shot didn't carry as much power as it might have, Jackie Turrell back, 30 metres now from his own goal and 45 metres as he eventually laid that ball off as far as Owen Larkin, back in there causing a few problems for the Limerick defenders to deal with. One of them is Richie McCarthy. And the All-Star comes out, minus his Hurley, and kicks it a good 35 metres forward. Great intensity to the match. 
Graham Mulcahy picks it up and hits it off his right shoulder and puts it over the bar, his first of the day. And all of Limerick's four points so far have come from open play. There are 11 minutes gone. And they have, Jared, have come from four different players. Graham Mulcahy again, an outstanding, skillful forward. Brilliant score there. And a great hook there by, by Shane Downing earlier on. But can, can they seem to be losing their shape up front, Jared? They're trying to play with a two-man full forward line. They're drifting all over the field. They have no shape to their forward line so far. And Limerick playing brilliant hurling at the moment. That's knocked back down again by Gavin O'Mahony, picked up here by Conor Fogarty, who had, of course, been playing at cornerback. Richie Hogan, his midfield ally, hits this shot in, and Nicky Quaid watches it go very harmlessly away to the left-hand side, and that's wide number five for Kilkenny so far. Limerick without a wide themselves, and they lead, as you can see, by four points to two. Early stages in the match. Killian Buckley from the puck out, bats it down again. He's done well on the Limerick puck out so far. Back in here as far as Colin Fennelly. On the half-forward line, hits it from a huge distance out and straight over. Great score. His second. One between them. Yeah, and obviously Limerick have identified David Breen as their go-to man, but uh, Killian Buckley did brilliantly there, and that's a great strike from Colin Fennelly from the middle of the field. And that's what they're being forced into. That's why they've had the five wides. It's a lot of long-range shooting because Limerick putting an awful lot of pressure on the ball. Paul Murphy under pressure again, batted it down here to his centre-half back, Brian Hogan. Into the middle, Michael Fennelly against two Limerick players, shows strength and determination. Spins around, hits it then down towards Paulig Welch, gets there first. Welch taking off, striking it over his right shoulder and striking it brilliantly, impeccably over the bar. Another, and this time hit beautifully over by number 10, Porrick Welch. Yeah, and that's a great recovery by Kilkenny. Two great scores, and Porrick Welch has been brilliant all year. Uh, off his left side there again, a great score, and, you know, brilliant game so far. In the conditions, fantastic work rate by both teams, and some great scores from play. Rain easing a little, level for the second time. From the puck out, straight down through the centre this time. The pressure on Brian Hogan. Dealt with it just about, got it out into the middle. Helped on here by Conor Fogarty. Two mid lively midfield players. New partnership for Kilkenny this year. In there it goes, TJ Reid couldn't take it, Mark Kelly trying to influence matters, hasn't really got a touch so far, it's a way out by Seamus Hickey. Out here as far as James Ryan, Jim Bob as they call him, gets away from Michael Fennelly, on as far as Gavin O'Mahony, and O'Mahony now lobbing it into a four-man attack. In there as well as Shane Dowling, and Dowling spins around on his right-hand side and drives it over David Herity's crossbar. First of the day, five of the forwards have now scored from play for Limerick. What an opening by them. Yeah, brilliant. And Shane Dowling being picked up by Paul Murphy. He's moved over into the other corner, and that's a great catch and a great score. And as you say, five of the six Limerick forwards now have scored from play. Good play that time by Paul Brown. Put the pressure on. Brian Hogan. Beautiful ball. Picked out Richie Hogan. Just needed an extra second. Is that Limerick have really have turned up today. This Crow Park Hoodoo is, is, is going to die today, whatever way the game goes, but they've turned up their playing brilliant hurling. Mokai trying to thread it through there for David Breen. Back it comes to him again, has to work a little harder. Across to open space, it did Declan Hannon. Hannon off his left hand side and puts it over the bar. It's got a second one. Great play by the Limerick forward, Lana a wide so far, a quarter of an hour gone, they're ahead 6 4. Yeah, and this is Declan Hannon, it's straight up the middle. This is what he brings to centre forward. He's very pacey and uh, a lot of pressure on the on the half back line so far. Killian Buckley playing well, but Brian Hogan under pressure on Declan Hannon. Such a contrast, Michael, with 12 months ago when they frankly didn't turn up here against Clare in the semi final that day. Puck out as far as Colin Fennelly, but one back again by Limerick, one back by Wayne McNamara. Put under pressure, not a lot he could have to try to get right. In the last couple of minutes, Kilkenny have gone back to a more orthodox three man inside forward line. Pressure in there right now, coming across to try and deal with it's Richie McCarthy, and he's got opponents right and left, had to be careful. Got a little knock on the head, I think, as well as he was getting that ball. So yeah, big, big favourite with the fans, you'll see a clip there going in. Uh, from TJ Reid, the ref feels just a free is, is enough of a punishment, but uh, he's very steady at full-back always, a huge fan with the uh, with the Limerick supporters, they're chanting his name there behind in the hill, and uh, very inspirational figure. Nicky Quaid, big one down, it's two against one here, should be Joey Holdens, needs support here, JJ Delaney, the captain of the day for Kilkenny, back out as far as Jackie Tyrrell, into the middle as far as Richie Hogan, carried on, way down, a probing ball inside here for DJ Reid, caught brilliantly by Seamus Hickey, 
had to go off with a bad injury in last year's semi-final. That's a great start he's made here. On to Gavin O'Mahony, into the middle as far as Daniel O'Grady. Let it fall, able to go after it himself. Pursued there by Conor Fogarty. Picked up here by James Ryan. Slips the hand pass to Paul Brown. Across as far as Paulie O'Brien.